Is there a difference between soaking a wound in regular salt Vs? Epsom salt. When you get a cut or scrape, someone might have told you to go dunk it in salt water. Old school, right? But does it matter if you're using table salt versus Epsom salt? Let's break it down. First up, regular table salt is sodium chloride, the same stuff you sprinkle on your eggs. It's been known for its antibacterial properties for ages. When you dissolve it in water and soak your wound, it can help to clean it out, acting like a disinfectant and pulling moisture from the bacteria in the wound, effectively drying them out. It can sting like heck, though. Then, there's Epsom salt, which is a whole different beast. It's not even salt in the traditional sense. It's magnesium sulfate, and it's actually used more for its anti-inflammatory and relaxing properties. And let me tell you, soaking in an Epsom salt bath for sore muscles after a hike in the beautiful Portland forests is a go-to remedy. Now back to the wound healing department. Epsom salt is not often used for cleaning wounds mainly because that's not its primary strength. It can soothe, sure, but it doesn't have the same drying effect on bacteria that sodium chloride does. On the flip side, it's also not going to give you the same wince-inducing sting when you use it. So, if you're dealing with a minor scrape or cut, and you've got no other options around, table salt in warm water might help to clean it out. If it's inflammation and muscle aches you're battling, then Epsom salt is your friend. However, keep in mind that neither of these home remedies can replace proper wound care. You'll want to keep an eye on any injury for signs of infection, and don't hesitate to seek medical advice if something seems off. Sometimes, good old-fashioned saline solution from the pharmacy is the best route for wound care. Let's keep it clean and simple. Keep in mind, this isn't medical advice, but more of a quick insight into the old saltwater trick your grandma probably told you about. For wound care, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider. And remember, never use any home remedy as a substitute for professional medical treatment when it's really needed. And there you go. Whether it's the Pacific Ocean or a salt bath, I do love the healing power of salt water. But hey, whatever you do, don't soak any wounds in Portland's Willamette River. Stick to actual clean water, folks.